I'm gonna make a, a kind of a beginner DeFi tutorial for how to use a block explorer. In this case, I'm going to be using um, a block explorer for the Binance chain, and it's called BSC Scan. Now there's other ones as well. You have Bitcoin block explorers, you have Ethereum block explorers. You should have a block explorer for every chain. And the block explorer is extremely, extremely useful. If you ever, that's that's how you see all the transactions on the chain. So let's say you make a transaction, you're using Bitcoin and it doesn't show up. You're not seeing the money in your wallet or any number of issues. One of the first things you want to do is look at the Bitcoin block explorer. Now, many people can make many different explorers. So you want to find the one that you like the most. BSC, BSC scan seems to be the most official one for Binance, but I'm sure that when it comes to Bitcoin, since it's been around for so long and since it's completely decentralized, there's going to be a lot of different block explorers that you can choose from. For this, I'm going to be using BSC scan in the Binance network. So let's say you have transactions. You, you just have questions. You don't know where your stuff is not showing in your wallet. You're always going to want to go check a block explorer. And if you can see the transaction, you can see your funds on the block explorer, then you're good. There's this the wallet. It's not showing up. So this is like your baseline. You want to get familiar with block explorers if you are in crypto at all. And with this, I'm going to be kind of showing you a little bit DeFi too. So first, I'm going to show you how do you check your own address? How do you check your public address and see the transactions that are going in and out of your address? Then I'm going to show you how do you check smart contracts and how do you check the addresses of projects that you might be looking to invest in and how do you get information from BS scan about those projects? This is where all the real information is. Everything else is basically marketing from the project. This is where the real meat is. This is like if you're some kind of investigator, this is what you want to look at. This is where you want to get your evidence. This is where you want to get your statistics from. Block Explorer. All right. So first, let's say you have an address, you have a wallet, and you want to check on the Block Explorer what's coming in and out, or you want to check a certain transaction. So what you need to do is first get your public address from your wallet. Everybody has one. So copy that. And you're going to paste it up here in the top right where it says search by address, transaction hacks, blocks, token. So you can search by a lot of different things. But right now I'm going to show you, you type in your um, address, hit search, and it's going to pull up your address. And you can see right here, it's got a list of all my transactions. Now this one is a little bit weird. Since we're on the Binance chain, you can just go ahead and type in or click this BEP20 token transactions. That's going to give you a list of all your Binance token transactions. So you click that and here we are. You can see the transaction hash, when it happened, where it came from, who it went to, which is generally you, unless you're moving something out. It depends on if it's going in or out. So right here it says in and out. So if you're sending to somebody, it would say out. If you're receiving, it would say in. The value, aka the number of tokens. And it should say amount because value would be more in terms of like, not necessarily, it really just depends on your reference, but value would be in terms of like US dollars or gold or something. So it should say amount, token amount or something. But I mean, you could, the 500 thousand that there is a value there but it's kind of a bad word I should say token amount and then token that's just like what type of token so let's say you have referrals coming in you're going to see it here but you won't see it on your wallet there's a lot of stuff you're not going to see on your wallet that you will see here and you can check here now if you go up here you can see token you can see your balance total amount of um, BNB, BNB value, and your token. So here you can see all your different tokens. And another thing, when you're operating inside of your wallet, 
it might not show you all your tokens because sometimes people send you tokens as a scam. Sometimes you get airdrops. Sometimes you just get tokens out of nowhere. I got a bunch of tokens out of nowhere. It's kind of like spam email, honestly. You get spam emails, you get spam tokens. But you can check them all right here from the um, Block Explorer. Now you also have ERC721 token transactions. I'm thinking that's wrapped Ethereum. You have analytics. You can check your wallet, see different things. And comments, I guess people can comment on your wallet. So that would kind of come in useful if you're looking at a project. So in short, when it comes to you and your public address, you can see so much more information on Bi on the BSC scan on a block explorer. It doesn't have to be Binance. Um, on a block explorer, you could do this with Bitcoin. You could do this with Ethereum. It's gonna be a. Di it's not gonna be on BSC scan, but you can still do it. You gotta find a different block explorer for those chains. So. You can see way more information, and you can verify. This is your best tool for verification on what's going on with your address. Now, let's say you want to invest in a project or you want to check a project. You can do that too on BSC Scan. So, what you're going to need is an address to search. In general, if you have a project, let's take Cosmos for example, it could be any project. In general, in their documentations, they should have a tab that says contracts. Now, if you copy these contracts, if you click on it, it's going to take you immediately to be a C scan. You can also copy the copy the address and search it yourself. So this is going to show similar information, all the transactions that this address is engaging in. But what's really cool, if you want to look up information on projects, search their contract address and then come here where it says token tracker under more information and hit that Mars token now depending on what project it's gonna be a different token go ahead and hit that now you're gonna see a lot of cool stuff you can see the total supply total amount of holders so that's how many people have this token in their wallet total amount of transfers and here you can see all the transfers. Now what I like to do is go to holders. You can see the top wallets that are holding this token. Now these are all smart contracts. So when it comes to DeFi, most of the time the top wallets are going to be all a part of the ecosystem, smart contracts, etc. That's the other thing about BSC scan. It's a little more advanced. I'm not going to cover it in this topic. You can actually read the contracts. You can open up these contracts and read them. That's going to take programming knowledge and etc. So you can see with Cosmos, you can check and see if there's whales. You can see the, the amount of Cosmos is pretty evenly distributed amongst people. The highest wallet is 0.97% of the supply. The next highest is 0 0.5%. 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Now, the only thing about this is when it comes to DeFi, a lot of people are farming, they're creating LP tokens, and they're staking. This is only going to show people who are holding the token in their wallet. There's also an analytics button, same as on your wallet, where you can see some graphs and some better information. You can read the contracts, like I said. And there's also a really nice um, a graph, which I would, here we go, token holders chart. So they'll also show you this nice little pie chart that'll tell, it, it's just a visual representation of what I just showed you, um, which is the supply, the like the holders, the top wallets. It's all the wallets really, but it's it starts off with the top wallets, so. These big ones are the contracts, and then you have the holders here. So if you're looking into a new project and you want to see how are the tokens distributed, how is everything working, you want to get more information, this is the way you want to do it.
You also want to join projects, social medias, ask questions, etc. But all of that is through the lens of somebody's voice, somebody's opinion, marketing, etc. This right here on BSC scan, this is the base facts. These are facts. It's not somebody telling you this or that. This is verifiably proven. You can check it yourself. So that's pretty much the gist I wanted to cover today. On BSC scan, long story short, to recap, you can check your wallet, see all the transactions, and you can do the exact same thing for various projects that you might be looking into or you're already invested in and you want to verify some things. The last thing I want to say is this is not just for Binance chain. This is for all chains. So this website specifically, you're only going to see the Binance chain. But if you are a Bitcoin user, if you're an Ethereum user, which I'm both of those as well, there are block explorers for those chains as well. And the process is going to be pretty much exactly the same thing. So that should do it. I hope you guys found some value out of this. If you know new people in the DeFi space that might not know about BSC scan, might not know how to use block explorers, please share this video with them. I appreciate all you guys. I'm going to keep making general DeFi guides and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys.